Well, a team of New York Republicans have filed a lawsuit to block the city from this law. Joining me now, the person spearheading the lawsuit, Staten Island Borough President Vito Fisella. Great to see you, sir. Thank you for being here. So what are you doing to stop this measure? Well, this is a little background. The New York City Council passed this law in December of 2021 to allow non-citizens the right to vote in local elections. And uh, it became law because, as you mentioned, the, the, the new mayor who inherited this did not veto it, so it becomes uh, law by just operation of 30 days expiring. With that said, once it became law, I and a group of others basically took the position that it's unconstitutional, it's illegal. The New York State Constitution sets forth three parameters uh, for being able to vote. It's very simple. It's unambiguous. You have to be 18 years of, uh, of age or older. You have to live in, the, in New York for 30 or more days. And you uh, also have to uh, be a citizen. And that's really, you know, as unambiguous as it can be, when a non-citizen is allowed to vote, you have violated the principle that citizens can only vote in this, uh, in this state. So we have sued, not to mention, David, you know, the practical effect of what they envision is to allow, if this is allowed to stand, which we hope obviously will not, uh, that in local elections, you go to a, a polling place, you go to your local school to vote, you'll be given different ballots because non-citizens will not be able to vote in other types of elections, right. say, uh, right. of mayor or, or for the no, sake of argument. Plus, plus the fact 30 days is not a long time. I mean, all sorts of shenanigans could come into play where... Uh, people are brought in uh, for 30 days. Uh, you know, it's, these things have happened before. I'm just wondering, though, when you say, by the way, it's unconstitutional, you're talking about the New York Constitution. So yep. it's the New York uh, Supreme Court. Uh, what is the configuration for those who don't know? Is, is that likely to, to, to vote for the Constitution, which is pretty clear? It's in black and white. You've got to be a citizen to vote. Yeah, the trial court in the state of New York is the uh, is the Supreme Court, ironically, and it was filed in Richmond County, which otherwise known as Staten Island. Uh, we believe that if the, the judge, whoever it's assigned to, reads the Constitution and reads what this legislation does, I think on the face, and even those who support it, the prior mayor, uh, this one, as I say, who inherited, have questioned the, the validity and the constitutionality of it and almost said, we don't think this is constitutional, yeah. but we're not going to yeah. we're not going to veto it. And I think the effect is chilling because, as was mentioned earlier, there are many people, obviously I was born in this, this country, but so many came to this country, went through the process legally, and we've diluted not only what it means to be a United States citizen or a citizen of the state of New York, but also the right to vote. You know, this is emblematic in a continuation of just open borders. There's no integrity to, to coming here. It doesn't mean anything. Just come and, and take up residency. You assume citizenship. I, I just think it's wrong on so many levels. And I'm just pleased this is the only recourse we have. You know, there is, there is a way to amend or modify the, the New York State Constitution. The proponents of this legislation just don't want to do it. Yeah, so they, they, just, they know it would fail in a, in a vote. If, if people were asked to vote specifically on this, I think it would fail. But what changed the mayor's mind? He said that he initially had reservations against it. Uh, they talked him out of those reservations. By the way, one of the people who did that was Mr. Rodriguez, his new transportation chief. And I'm wondering what the relationship is there. The guy who was spearheading the, the Non-Citizen Vote Act is, is the one who's now his transportation uh, minister, if you will. What, what did change the mayor's mind? I, I don't know. I've not spoken. In fairness, he inherited this. Uh, it was passed in the prior uh, city council. I just think, as a practical matter, they looked at it, the politics. It would just go back to the practically the same city council. It would be overwhelmingly uh, approved. So why go through sort of the mechanisms? I don't agree with that, obviously. This is why we're, we're bringing action to, to stop it. Uh, but with all that said, I, I don't know what, what changed the mind. What I do know, it's unconstitutional yeah. for non citizens to vote in the state, which is why and we think this is the only recourse to try to stop it. We obviously hope it's successful. Now, is it possible that the only reason he, he decided not to veto it is because he realized that it would be challenged and found to be unconstitutional, so it will never actually be put into effect? I, I, I can't dismiss that as a, as a possibility. As yeah. I mentioned, uh, even 
people he would think be inclined to support it have said this this doesn't really pass the uh, the sniff test. So I think if you looking at it purely through a political uh, lens, you can say that the, the base of the other party wants this. I'm not going to stand in its way. Let it uh, be deemed unconstitutional, right. and it will die and go away. Very quickly, the Georgia Secretary of State thinks that we should have a constitutional amendment in the United States to prevent these kind of laws from, from taking place. Uh, of course, the Constitution gives a lot of leeway to states to come up with their own rules on voting. That's, that's what a big debate is all about now. Do you agree with the, the Georgia Secretary of State that there should be a, a move for a constitutional amendment to prevent this kind of law from taking place? I'm not opposed to such a thing. I think if these types of things, uh, when I say the, the efforts to allow non-citizens to vote around the country continue, uh, that should be on the table to consider. As, as you mentioned, David, historically, election laws tend to be the purview or the, uh, the domain jurisdiction, whatever you want to call it, of each state. I would think that's the better approach to, to allow yeah. it to happen, I let democracy right. And flourish, but I don't think uh, something like that should be kept off the table if necessary. Vita Fisella, good luck to you. Thank you very much for coming in. Appreciate it.